Hello Wealthy Family and welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for coming and sharing some time with the Ascending Infinite Goddess. I am in such a good mood. All right, I'm so glad that my camera is cooperating and my lighting is good. You would never know that it's overcast and about to storm and the wind kind of died down but it was really really bad <laughs> earlier today. So we are going to talk about distractions. Okay, I know we talked about that recently. I know we talk about it often, but they're ramping up the distractions again, y'all. And we need to stay focused. We got to stay focused. I can feel the shift. Okay, I feel it. And we really got to keep our eyes on the prize. Okay, allow our heart frequency to move from that higher nature move from that higher power and not move with our headspace we're not dealing in our headspace okay when you send commands from your mind to your heart you are in discord you're not in unison when you move from your heart sending signals to your mind you are now in unison okay you're moving in sync when you allow your heart to send signals to your mind you also allow your heart to send signals to others you know your aura permeates from around your body. And when you are allowing your aura to permeate from your well-centered, open, balanced heart, you are allowing other people to take on that frequency as well. The next time you're beside someone who is having a shit day, if you're having a really good day, go on their non-dominant side. So if they're right-handed, go on their left side and hug them from the left or even just stand there or talk to them on a left-bearing um, side because that will allow them to receive it more your non dominating side is your receiving side all right so if you're holding crystals or you're wanting to receive energy from someone you always want to do it in the palm of your hand that is the non dominant if you want to give you use your dominant hand or your dominant side that's how you give okay so that's just a little tidbit but do not allow yourself to get distracted distracted and this is directly connected to this whole Will Smith, Oscar, Pitar type energy going on, okay? Chris Rock, all of them, okay? Um, I was someone who was in deep infatuated love with Will Smith when I was younger, okay? Yes, that was my celebrity crush. Loved him, jumped out of a slow moving car once upon a time to try to catch a glimpse of them when they were filming Bad Boys down in Miami. Okay, Bad Boys 2 down in Miami. I did that, all right? My husband my husband now used to always tell me, man, Will Smith is fugazi. Like, why is he rocking with him? I was like, I don't care what you say. I like him, da 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 Then a few years ago, maybe about seven or eight years, nine years ago, 10 years ago maybe, <laughs> my eyes kind of got open to some of the things that he's done. Um, just the way on how Jaden and Willow and his other children, um, the whole Scientology thing. And I was just like, wait a minute, wait a minute. He is more than Willennium, okay? He is more than Will 2K, okay? He, he is so much more than the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Goodness gracious. And I kind of fell off, right? And then the nail got put in the coffin in 2017, um, you know when I found out some other stuff, right? The 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 link with the cabal and all that, right? Um, before it hit mainstream. But I was just like, man, um, when I saw him, I don't know what year it was, but when he was promoting a movie international and one of the fans tried to grab him and kiss him in the mouth and he slapped him. And I was like, damn, he slapped him kind of proper, but, you know, he slapped him, right? And then he turned around and did the same punk ass thing, Chris Rock. Listen. I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to say whether he was right or whether he was wrong. I'm not here to say whether or not I would do the same. I'm not here to condemn him or condone him. I'm here to say it ain't got to do with me. What he did is not paying not none of my bills. It has nothing to do with me. It is not a representation of the black men in my life. It's not a representation of my family life. It's not a representation of what I would want my man to do for me. Okay, therefore, I do not care. 
all right my, i'm like chris rock i'm mute on it i'm done like i don't have nothing to say about that however everybody is talking about it everyone everywhere all on youtube all the freaking you know uh conscious aware people it's on every news channel it's everywhere oh my god this mosquito just bit my foot i'm sorry it's everywhere so it's kind of hard not to see but it's the way how it's being depicted that's what i'm saying don't be distracted by it okay the way it's being depicted and the light that is being shown on for him and his wife regardless of what he did and why he did it and how he did it it came from a place of hurt okay so if you put yourself on that frequency to get up in their business, you know what you're doing? You're lowering yourself to that hurt frequency. All right? This war in Ukraine hurts an anger frequency. That is not what we need to be on. Remember, we need to keep ourselves up. Up, 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 up. Stuck, right? Let it be stuck. I think that's how the song go. I don't know. I don't listen to Cardi B that much. But, right? They need to be up and they need to be stuck. That's where our energy level needs to be. Okay? There's nothing wrong with being entertained, watching it, you know, for a couple minutes, stay up in the loop and then go ahead and switch it off. But do not allow it to consume you. Do not get emotionally invested. These people know what they're doing. I'm not saying that it was staged. I'm not saying that it wasn't. But what I'm saying to you is the frequency in which it was done by has nothing to do with us. All right, this is new moon energy. The Oscars, nothing but idol worship. Okay, and with the ratings being put in the toilet, then they it revved up once he did what he did. All right, they were able to siphon so much energy. Do not allow them to siphon your energy. Okay, don't do that. Springtime, rejuvenation. We're keeping the focus, we're keeping our eyes on the prize, we're welcoming assistance from any benevolent source that is what we're looking to do okay we're looking to sow seeds for financial abundance we are affirming the greatness that we set off and we make that we made a decision to bring into our life for 2022 okay we're not talking about the resolutions that people left behind on january 20th i'm talking about the decisions that we put in place and said this is what's going to happen this is the change that we're going to make i'm going to start meditating more i'm going to start journaling more i'm going to start affirming myself more i'm going to cut off toxic people i'm going to live my life undoubtedly ridiculously unequivocally unapologetically happy for me remember that decision that you made and stick to it do not allow these things to distract you do not allow these people to distract you do not let the best winning actors and actresses get you in a kafunk don't do it don't do it i cannot admonish you enough don't do it you are focused on who me it's time to be selfish it's the year of the selfish me first me first okay me first and anything else that's happened let that be the entertainment but removing in unison heart brain unison heart mind sync allowing things to command and allowing your heart to be open and free so you can create so you can manifest so you can bring into reality the greatness that you are supposed to and not this doom and gloom we're winning we're winning don't get tired we're almost over the finish line don't collapse we're almost there slow and steady slow and steady slow and steady building our momentum and now it's time to take off it's time to catapult remember right catapult your energy remember that's what we're doing so stay the course wealthy family that's all i wanted to remind y'all of today that's what that's what spirit had me on i was going to talk about something else and then i sat down and there was a red robin and my ancestors was like nope we need to remind them we need to remind them because there's some spirits that's coming in. There's some energies that's coming in. And they're counting on us to get our shit together. And we cannot allow our shit to fail. <laughs> okay? Okay. I love you all. That's it. Short video. Short and sweet. Okay? I love you all. And until we connect again, stay alert, stay aware, and live in love. Peace.